Hi, thanks for joining me, Dizzy Angel Demon, for a miniature painting quick tip. Today's quickie is all about wet palettes, why you need one, and how to make your own. So what's a wet palette and why is it so important to you? Bottom line is, it's going to save you big money by helping you reduce paint waste, and it's going to help greatly improve your miniature painting skills by making your paint more manageable. It does this by keeping your paints moist without diluting them or changing their properties. No more tossing away scrapings of dried out paint from your palette it means you're going to save money you can spend on other goodies such as those miniatures you've been eyeing. But there's no need to spend a lot of money on a wet palette to start saving. Here's how you can quickly and easily make one at home. First of all, you're going to need some form of resealable container. I went to my local craft store and picked up a photo case for 5 by 7 inch photos. I really like this one because of the size. It wasn't too deep and it has these nice little clips that's going to keep the lid closed. Next, you're going to need something to put in the container that's going to hold on to the water. I picked up these sponge cloths, and this is what they look like. Next, you're going to want to get some parchment paper to put on top of your sponge to form a barrier between your sponge and the paint. And I have to stress parchment paper because wax paper just isn't going to work. The parchment paper is permeable, so it's going to allow the water to seep through slowly and keep your paint moist. And that's the purpose of your wet palette. You'll also need a pen and some scissors. And finally, you're going to want to get some distilled water. The reason I suggest distilled water is because unlike tap water, it's free of contaminants that could affect the pigments of your paint. This is only a few dollars a gallon, so it's a good investment. But if you can't find any distilled water, bottled water is much better than tap water. So, let's get to making our wet palette. First off, we're going to take our container of choice and place it on the sponge cloth. Then we're going to use our pen to trace the shape. And now we just cut that shape out. Let's check if it fits. Yep, all good. On to the parchment paper. We're going to do the same thing. I'm just using the sponge cloth as a template and a pencil to trace onto the waxy parchment paper. Careful with those scissors. Now that that's all done, we're going to place the sponge cloth into our container and fill that with water. Now we place the parchment paper on top. I'm just smoothing it out and fitting it in place. If you cut back the corner of the parchment paper, it'll make it much easier when it comes time to remoisten your sponge. I had a little too much water in my palette, so I used a paper towel to soak some of it up. And that's it. We're done. Creating a wet palette was just that easy. Thanks for watching my miniature painting quick tip. I'm off to work on my latest Super Dungeon Explorer figure and put this palette to the test. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye! Please show your support by hitting the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for all the latest from me, Dizzy Angel Demon.